This weekly Blender competition is brought to you by Grant Abbott. Grant Abbott provides Blender tutorials for beginners and experienced users such as sculpting, modeling, texturing, animating and a lot more. So make sure you check out his channel and Discord if you haven't already. You can find the link in the description. Welcome to weekly Blender competition number 9 which we're going to choose a 1st, 2nd and 3rd place winner. And the subject for this week was to create a special drinking bar. We have 8 wonderful entries and I really appreciate that you guys have joined. And the first entry is of Pro3D. In this code you just say weekly challenge special drinking bar. I really like what you've done here. A nice isometric room. Uh, the pipe sticking out it is something I haven't seen much. So that gives a uh, nice detail there. Um, I recognize this guy down here. Uh, it's from Futurama. It's Bender I believe his name is. I don't know the other guys. Uh, so I don't know if this is a scene from Futurama itself, it could be, or that you have mixed up some things down here. Uh, I really like the look of it, a lot of robotic things. Um, they seem to uh, enjoy themselves a lot. Um, I like the small details you got down here. You didn't paint these, so it, you, know, you can see it very well as detailing. Um, I would just say two things for this scene that could have been different. Uh, the first one is a personality thing, and that is the fires in the barrels. Um, what I did myself with the Christmas theme, I made like a um, circle inside the barrel, and then I used a particle system to make some flakes, orangey flakes coming out of it, uh, because I find it always very difficult to make a fire in a cartoony looking scene. So I was kind of happy with those flakes coming out. Um, but that's more of a personal thing. Another thing that I would say, and uh, that is make the overall light a lot lesser. Because you've used a lot of tiny lights all of, in the whole scene. And I'm just going to take an example of it. Uh, that is this guy right down here. The whole scene in overall is a lot darker. By the way, I've got this from Discord. Um, I should actually, you know, give the credits to the person. So let me just go up to the competition entry of Grant. This was with Retro Games. And this one is from I Wilco. Um, yeah, as you can see, the overall light is a lot lesser. And so the other lights will blink out a lot more. Um, which I would love to see in here. I would love to see all these lights just coming out a lot more. And the over, uh, overall light a lot lesser. Because in drinking bar, it's most of the time like cozy. And uh, yeah, it's like the lights turn on and it's about to close down, uh, which could be a thing too. Um, but I really like this one, so great job Pro 3D. Uh, the second entry is of, ooh, this name, Dictator. Is that how I pronounce this? Um, I really like the, it's the bottles here in the back. You really have done... A lot of job or not a lot of job to make the bottles look very good i really find them having nice sizes have some nice textures on it uh, i recognize some of them others i don't recognize um the bar in overall you have the light turn on so it it gives me a feeling it's about to close or it's about to open um i can't help noticing that this this picture in overall is a little bit um, blurry, I would say, um, but that might be because of Discord. I don't know about that. Um, you have a lot of different glasses down here, which is a nice detail. Um, you got the railing to put your feet on. It's a very important detail, I find, at bars. Um, there is one thing, though, and that is it looks like there is like a, a bottle missing here. The bottle itself, you got the uh, brand sticker on it. I would just like to call it. Um, and overall, it's it's very very nice. I would only say need a little bit of light coming from the front, so from the camera view into this. Maybe it it get rid of this. Um, yeah, I would say grainy stuff. Um, you got a tap down here. Something to wipe your mouth off. You got even a uh, monitor down here. Very good detail. Um, let's see if other people have these kind of things. Uh, I like the reflection here in the back. I think overall it's, it's very nice. 
So, uh, good job with that. I really like this one. Uh, the third entry is of Crabson. Um, wow. Crabson made a very artistic looking bar. Um, the last time Crabson joined was with, uh, was with Mystery. And I noticed in his mystery, uh, even though it looked very nice and good, uh, I was missing a lot of things uh, in the overall picture. But in this picture, you have done a lot of things. Um, it's hard to say something about this, but the longer I look at it, um, there was one thing I actually noticed, and that is that this piece of wall down here is kind of blank or empty, I would say. Um, what could have done the job for this door is actually the same as this door, like put a piece of uh, wood in the uh, door frame down there and maybe just uh, cut a piece out of here, make it a little bit lesser thick and just um, glue it to the wall. Um, but in overall, like, this is a very, very amazing picture. There's a lot of artistic things to find in here. There's a lot of things you can uh, see back. Uh, with the floor, it's onto these little... Uh, seats on the bench onto the back down here uh, onto the roof uh, you use uh, collars in here uh, the balance is very nice this of course just you know banks out but that's the whole point of an artistic looking bar uh, you've used lights here lights there lights in the back um, the only thing and I would say besides the wall is that these little lamps down here I'm not gonna say it gives me a candle feeling it could either be like, I don't know, a LED light or whatever. Uh, it's a little too bright, just a touchy too bright, uh, which you can see down here at the cola. Um, it's like ginormous bright. Um, so just a little lesser. Anything else, I, I really can't say. It's very artistic. Um, maybe give them a little randomness in these uh, bar seats down here. Kind of look like one place down, the rest of them is just copied. Um, I'm really trying to search some things, but in overall, really, really, really nice. Um, so good job with that, Crabson. This time you really uh, blow me away, but also a lot of people. Um, the fourth entry is also a very nice one, and this one is from the lovely Taco. And uh, when I seen this, I was like, wow, this could be easily something from. Watchdogs? I always confuse with watchdogs and sleeping dogs. Um, but you guys probably know what I mean. That hacker game. You come into a bar and it looks very futuristic. And I really like what you've done here with the stony uh, seats. Uh, the lights coming off and over. And this lamp down here. This robotic thing. Uh, dead mouse looking uh, bartender. You got one drink. Um, apparently I'm alone tonight. Um, I really like this one. You got uh, in the back also for where you can stand and put your drink onto. Um, different colors. The balance is very nice on this. Um, um, very difficult to just say something about this. Uh, maybe a little bit more bottles or drinks or whatever. It's just uh, searching for little things here. But this is a very, very nice one. Um, good job, the lovely taco. Very amazing. Uh, number five is also a very nice one. Uh, it's the sky bar of Spectre's Sun. Also a very artistic uh, look. Um, so I imagine a sky bar is on a high top of the building. Freezing cold, super windy. But with this little cozy bar with your friends. It can be very nice with some music. Uh... I really like these, um, what is that called? I would say glasses, but well, you guys know what I mean. This thing, it seems to be some detail in it, or it's just a reflection. Um, I really like this tap down here. Um, these seats, I can help to say it, but it's almost like they took a trash can. Uh, and they cut out a piece down here, and then uh, put a seat on it. Um, but I really like it, it's very artistic. Um, the only thing that I would say about this is with the glass panels that there should be something 
uh, holding the panels in the air because you can clearly see there is no uh, what I would say a groove in it where you uh, put the panels into or there is not really ah my English there is something to hold the panels uh, but maybe I'm just uh, bitching around with that I really like the color there's just enough color there it's not too bright it's not too dark um, I can really imagine a nice drinking night with some friends in here um, the floor is very nice oh good job with that Spectre Sun very nice one and uh, the next one is something special because I didn't have one of these earlier I believe in my um, weekly competition and this one is of Plat Platyros Platyros um, you made a painting which I really like to see that for once um, all I can say, this is pretty on point. It it's like it could easily be a a screenshot token from something on TV or something. Um, now because I I'm not uh, you know into painting, it's of course difficult to say something about it. But it it's very on point. It's very hard to say something about it. Uh, what could have been done better? Uh, yeah. The texturing is nice, I would say. He also said, by the way, modeling this would be awesome, but I'm out of time. And I would say, why don't you give it a shot to just model this and just put it into um, the channel of Finish It Artworks. Um, well, there is one thing that I could say about this is um, maybe put also some of this um, grainy stuff on the face. Uh, unless she powdered the face, then it's away, of course. Um, that it could be a thing. I like the detail of this little snail here upside down onto the uh, seat. Um, yeah, the only thing uh, here is this thing, but you maybe figure that out yourself too. That the class should actually continue and this should be like behind it. Um, but anything else, I really like the little details you've made down here. Is that a cat in a bottle or is it a cat onto the bottle? Because I can imagine like this stuff is inside the bottle. Um, but a cat in the bottle, like a catfish, is that the whole idea? Um, anyhow, this is say a very nice one, uh, one of the favorites for today. Uh, good job with that. Uh, the seven entry is of Chris B97301. Um, he's been saying, I have been playing with Blender for a few months and this is the first time I felt like my work was even remotely good enough to submitting. This is my take on a 24th century bar. I really want to do more, like putting some brandings on the boxes, but I just ran out of time. Oh, that's okay. You have at least joined. So that, uh, that is one point where you win on to. Um, now you just say... Uh, for a few months, uh, for a few months, I think it's very good. Uh, I think, to be real honest, after a few months, I didn't even know how to make these notes onto um, objects. I really like how you done this texturing on the box for some reason. It's uh, very well done. I would, yeah, I don't know. I think people can agree with that too. It really, uh, it really has this feeling on it for some reason. Um. Very nice, you got a lot of seats, you can drink there with a lot of people. Um, like you said, you wish you had some more time. But the only thing what I'm trying to understand is how this bar actually works. It's just cleaning in progress. Um, I Did you use like a texture on it and then glow it out? Um, because if so, then I would say, um, just make this stuff, um, I don't know exactly what you've done here, but this could have been more clear, because there's also something that says it on here, um, it's very difficult to read, because Blender also, um, um, decompensates the, uh, texture, because I'm doing it in Devlog, but it said something about... Uh, I need to open this in Discord. So you have to excuse me for this. Uh, maybe this will do. A uh, drinking master 5000. That is what it was saying. Um, no, I only need to. Oh, this one can go away too. So drinking master 5000. I would say 
Um, I think it's... Have you used glare on this? Because for some reason, this, this should be able to make this more pop out instead of uh, hide it. Um, but you will probably learn about this. I can just not say how you can do that. Um, which I need to learn first and then I can show it. Um... Yeah, it's a mystery for me what's going on, like with these boxes and this cleaning machine. Uh, do people drink out of boxes in the 24th century? Or I really like the, the whole idea that you confuse me and make me think what is going on. Uh, there's also a thing that sometimes can be a lot of fun with artworks. Make people think what is going on. Uh, try to read the picture. Um... I think in overall you've done a very nice job. This one just uh, is very good to read with your password. You have to buy something first. Very good one. Um, just keep on going. I think you will uh, get somewhere. And I uh, hope to see you back uh, improving each time. Um, so good job with this. I'm just trying to read if I write this uh, the right way. Uh, cheers. Did I said Chris before? I don't know. Uh, anyhow, good job with this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you coming back. Our last entry is of Bacardi. Um, Bacardi says, I like imagination at the end, or how to say, sorry for bad English. Well, if you follow this all the way through, uh, you can hear I got bad English too. But uh, I'll guess we will understand each other. Um, what I really like, I've never seen that before, handicapped places for bars. Uh, I really like this idea, I would only say like, uh, you know, don't make them too special, um, make these things uh, a lot smaller or make just one of them down underneath here. Uh, people who sit here will understand this, that they can't sit here. Uh, I like these bottles. Um, yeah, it, it's, it does give me the feeling those are these bottles you can pop and confetti will come out. Um, but there is enough of them for everyone. And I no can't help noticing this guy down here. Uh, it looks like he's floating or something happened with it. Um, yeah, you said you ran out of time. I like the imagination. Oh yeah, okay, that's true. Well, you have joined, so that is a win for you. Uh, I like that you even made uh, different seats down here. Uh, a mirror um, looks very on point. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining Bacardi. Uh, you will probably, uh, you know, someday do some more of this stuff. Just keep going um, and you will get there. So that were all the entries. And now I have to choose a winner. So I just need to think for a second. It wasn't very easy. Because there are more winners, and I always say everyone wins when you just join uh, the competition. You have uh, challenged yourself. You've done some stuff. Um, but, of course, only three of these are going to win. Um, for the third place, I have chosen something that I haven't seen before. So you might probably know which one it is. And that is... Uh, Platyros, I really like this one, and I, I you really deserve to uh, be one of the three. Uh, so congratulations with that. Um, the number two is going to be the lovely taco. Uh, I also think done a very very nice job. I really love this one in overall. Um, it's it's simple. But it's catchy. That is the whole point with this art down here. Uh, I even said to people that, you know, I wanted to join two days ago or something like, look at this um, artwork of the lovely taco. It is simple, but it's catchy. So you don't always have to do massive amount of work, um, you know, to get the job done. This is a very good example of that. So uh, congratulations with that lovely taco. Now, the number one winner, people might know already which one I'm going to uh, choose for that. Uh, then again, everyone done an amazing job. You guys should keep joining, keep practicing, keep challenging yourself and challenging others. And uh, that is the only way how you can get higher and higher each time you uh, join. And that's going to be Crapson. 
Capson is uh, definitely a winner in this one. Uh, the bar looks very, very realistic. Um, there is a lot to look at. There is a lot of um, variety in things. Um, yeah, I really like this one, and I hope you guys uh, agree with that. Uh, if not, then let me know down below in the comment section who you think should be the first, second, and third place winner, and or uh, comment what you think about these arts, what could have been done better, or what is something you really, really like about this. Um, so that is that. The next weekly challenge is something that's going to be, uh, which I just pronounced a word for, announced, pronounced. Uh, it's going to be photorealistic. Um, like I said before, you can keep things very simple and catchy. So if you are a beginner, don't make it too difficult for yourself. Just take something very simple. And I've got actually an example for you guys. I've been doing a little bit of uh, research, of course. Uh, as you can see, I've copied this. so I know my English is so on point. Uh, so I'm just putting this link down below in the description. Uh, so you can get a little bit of ideas of things. Um, there is a lot what um, is a lot of work. This is of Andrew Price. Uh, most of you will know this guy. Um, but as you can see down here, this calculator, uh, it's very simplistic. It looks very realistic. So how to make things realistic? Well, get not only just the right texture, you can also make a little bit of dust on it or a little bit of fingerprints or scratches. Uh, of course, the right lightning, you can use HDRIs for that. Um, there is another one I really like a lot. And that is this one down here. It's very simplistic. Uh, it just leaves some water drops and a, a very good model of a frog, of course. And uh, some blur background. Uh, so I hope you get some inspiration from these pictures. I will also include the link, of course, in the announcement. And you can just take a look yourself. Um, and just good luck with that. Um, it might be difficult, but to keep it simple, you can, you know, get some more done when you add in too much stuff. Um, yeah, that's actually all I got to say. Uh, once again, everyone is a winner, and I really appreciate you guys joining, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Blender, and also questions and requests are welcome anytime.